Hi, welcome to Play Along. Uh, today we're going to go over an endgame by Professor W.R. Fraser from Sir George Williams College, Montreal. Here we have a picture of Professor Fraser playing Tom Wiswell in his 1956 match, a uh, Go As You Please match for the World Championship. It's right to move and win. Can we win a win? Well, we start off with evaluating the position. You'll be white. Right? You can play along and watch. Here we see that red has a check on the side of the board, 12. Has a weak check on 7. It's not supported. And he has two checkers on the side of the board, 5 and 17. The other thing that we look, because it's very important in end games, is the opposition. White has the opposition. We'll show you after the game one way to find this out. And during the game, we'll do the pairing off, and you'll see that. White plays 28 to 24. And if you've seen that, that move, it's very, very good. And we're going to give red, we're going to eliminate some moves for red, and it'll also help us explain the opposition. If red goes 17 to 22 or 17 to 21, it loses. Because we know we have the opposition. 18 to 14, the only move for red is 7 11, and we go 24 to 20. We, uh, as you can see, everything's paired off, and when red cannot advance, uh, he would lose a checker. So that's that's how uh, we have the controlling move. That's, so that's one thing of our position pairing off system. I'm going to move this back. Okay, and. We eliminated this move here. So the move, also, before I show you, 7 to 10 can be eliminated right away because you would just go 18 to 14, squeeze, and win the checker. So red plays 5 to 9. And this is, uh, we, we, have, we will have one more variation after this. Now, white knows, or you know, that the check on 7 is weak. So 19 to 15, and you keep an eye on the check on 7. Here, if red goes 17 to 22 or 17 to 21, you would just go 24 to 19 for the win. Same thing if red goes 9 to 13, 24 to 19 would win. That's another variation. And you can check that out uh, yourself on that. Uh, so in this case, red goes... Twelve to sixteen, and before we make a move, we're going to evaluate. We're going to look at the position, and we we see that red has two checkers here that could be attacked to, because of the holes in the position at the same time, and white and red has two checkers here that can be attacked. So, do you see the star move here? Thirty to twenty-five, correct. Now, if red would go sixteen to twenty. We would go 25 to 21. You would go 25 to 21. When he jumps one, you would jump two for the win. Or if red would go 17 to 21, you would go 24 to 20. And again, two checkers to one for the win. So red only has one safe move to go. It's 9 to 13. Here, here's where common sense, like... Most and logic always comes in handy in, in calculating itself. We know we want to move 25 to 21 because red would go 16 to 20 and it'd be even exchange for a draw. So we go 24 to 20, attacking two checkers. Red's only choice, safe choice, is going 16 to 19 to move out of the way. And here we're going to gain a tempo by attacking. 25 to 21 to squeeze. Red goes 17 to 22. Here we go 20 to 16. Gets a king. And now we squeeze and we're going to win a checker. The weak check on seven we win. Uh, and red would resign. So let's see the other variation that we were talking about. Four. Okay. 
So we know we started out with 28 to 24, and we played all these variations here, and we played the 5 to 9. Now we play, I mean, Red would play, excuse me, 7 11. Now what would you play? 24 to 20. Notice all your, your checkers are paired off. Uh, you couldn't go here because then you would just go here. It's all paired off for the win because you have the opposition. So, and also, white is threatened, you're threatened to go 19 to 15 next. But red has a good re response, uh, reply. Do you see red's reply? That's right. Five to nine. Now, if we would go 19 to 15 to squeeze, red would go nine to 14, break up the base, which is uh, the check on 18, and it'd be an even, even swap uh, for a draw. So you have another star move, and that would be going 30 to 26. Okay, uh, If red would go, now we're, we're always calculating, looking at the thing, evaluating and calculating. If we go 9 to 13, white would just, white would go 9, nine uh, 19 to 15, uh, win the check and the win. So the only safe move for red is 17 to 21. And here we're going to try to help him to self, uh, to go 26 to 22 to self-destruct is the word I was looking for. And now if red goes 21 to 25, we're going to eliminate the move. Uh, what would you do? Right, 18 to 14, when he jumps, you would jump too for the win. So red's only safe move again, he has to go 9 to 13. And now we go 19 to 15. Red goes 21 to 25, we jump, or white jumps, excuse me, and red goes uh, 25 to 30. Here, white plays a good move, do you see it? 18 to 15. Now, red has a choice of going here and here, and both ways are going to win the same way. I'm going to show you this variation, 30 to 26, or and white goes, or you would go 22 to 18, now red goes... 26 to 23. You don't want to go here to 14 because then red would come in here fork and get the draw. So do you see the win here? Well in these positions when you're up a checker you usually have to give back the checker and remove the king. So go here, get a king, 8 to 3. Now we let him jump. He has to jump 23 to 14 and now we exchange to get rid of the king. 15 to 10. He jumps. He jumps. Now red comes in here. Now we do not have the opposition. We're not paired off correctly in this. So we go 10 to 15. And in most cases, exchanges will, will change the move. And that's what we're going to be doing. 17 to 22. Now 20 to 16 for exchange here. We jump. We have the opposition. Uh, say red goes here, here, here. You can go here or here. Let's say here. Red cannot get away for the win. Now, I mentioned that I was going to show you the other way for the opposition. Uh, here we have the count system, how to tell the oppos opposition. It started a game, and when it's your move, and it's your turn, for example, white's move, and it's your turn, what you do is to find out if you have the opposition, and once you get used to it, it'll only take seconds to find out, is this your king's row, 29, 30, 31, and 32. You just count the checkers, all the checkers, whether it's white or red, on or in that system. So it's one, one more two, one more three, and there's nothing here, so it's three. Three is an odd number. Odd number means you have to move. Now, I just want to show you, you only count those systems. So for the thing to show you, we're going to move, you wouldn't count these checkers. Because they're not in the king's row. This is what you check. Odds is a, uh, means you have to move. If you had a checker here, for example, now the number is four in your system, and four, four is an even number, you wouldn't have to move, red has to move. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.